The Great Empires of Prophecy From Babylon to the Fall of Rome the Great by Alonzo Trevue Jones from Babylon Review and Herald to the Fall Publishing of Company Rome. Battle Creek by Michigan Alonzo 1898 Jones. Review and Herald narrated Publishing by Company, Mike McCabe Battle Creek Michigan Chapter 1 The Empire of Babylon by Mike McCabe Nebuchadnezzar Chapter 1 the Empire Before the Babylonian Babylon, Empire of the Bible and of Nebuchadnezzar arose to power before the, the empire of Assyria empire ruled the, the world, Bible as described in Ezekiel 31, power, verses 1 to 6, of and illustrated the world, in the map on in the opposite page. 31, one in 625 BC, there was a revolt the of the countries of the Media, page. Babylon, and Egypt in all at BC, once. There was a revolt of the, countries the king of, of Assyria Media, in person Babylon, subdued and the revolt Egypt in Media all at once. while he sent his trusted the general Nebuchadnezzar in to bring Babylon in into subjection while again. He sent his trusted general Both were entirely successful. To bring Babylon Nebuchadnezzar into performing again. his part so well Both were as to merit successful. and receive from his sovereign the honorable title so well king of Babylon. This Nebuchadnezzar was the, the father of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon. This Affairs in the government of Assyria of went from bad to worse, so that in 612 Affairs BC in the government of Assyria there was another grand revolt on the part of the same three so countries, in 612 BC, led this time there was by Nebuchadnezzar himself. On the part of the same this three one countries, was completely successful. By Nineveh himself. was made a heap of this ruins. One and the Assyrian successful. Empire was divided Nineveh into three great divisions of ruins. Media and the Assyrian holding the northeast was divided and the extreme into north. Three great divisions. Babylon holding Elam Media and all the plain the and valleys of the Euphrates and, and the Tigris. Babylon and Egypt holding, Elam holding and all the country the west of the, of the Euphrates and the Tigris. And Egypt the sea of this alliance the between Babylon and Media the was the marriage of Amutis. The, the daughter of, of the this king of Media Babylon to Nebuchadnezzar, was the son of, of Nebuchadnezzar, the daughter of the king of Media. It was in the performance of his part in the alliance against Assyria that Pharaoh Necho, king of Egypt, of his part went up in the against the king against of Assyria to fight Pharaoh against Necho, Carchemish of by Egypt, Euphrates went up against when King, king Josiah of, of Judah went to out to fight with him Carchemish and was slain at Megiddo. When King Josiah then, of Judah, as went out all to fight this with Western him, territory pertained to the king of Egypt, it then, was in exercise of his Western legitimate sovereignty gained by Egypt, conquest it that was he removed Shalom, his the son of Josiah, from being king of Judah, and appointed Eliakim king of Judah in his stead, changing his name to Jehoiakim, and laid a tax upon the land. Changing his name Pharaoh Necho, however, was not left very long to enjoy his share of the vanished Pharaoh empire Necho, of Assyria. However, was not left very in the year 607 BC, of the Nabopolassar associated Assyria. Nebuchadnezzar in with himself as king BC, and sent him on an expedition in invasion of the territory of Pharaoh Necho. And sent him on an Thus it was that in, in the third year of the, the reign of Jehoiakim, of 607 B.C., was king of Judah, the third year of the reign came of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, BC, unto Jerusalem, king of and Judah. besieged it, came and took part of the vessels of, of the house of God, unto Jerusalem, and a number of captives, it, among whom and took was part Daniel, of the vessels and carried of the house them of God, to Babylon. And a number of captives, this, of course, whom was resented was by Pharaoh Necho, carried them to Babylon. Accordingly, in the fourth year this, of Jehoiakim, of was he came by Pharaoh out of Necho. Egypt on Accordingly, an expedition in the against fourth Babylon. Year of Jehoiakim, he, he went no farther than Egypt to Carchemish, however, an expedition for there he was Babylon. met by Nebuchadnezzar, he went no as is related to in Jeremiah 46, for there verses 1 to 10. By Nebuchadnezzar, as Necho is related was overcome in and put to flight. One, one single to battle stripped him of all Necho his conquests was overcome and compelled him flight. to retire One into Egypt. Stripped him of all and the his king of Egypt came and not again any more out of his Egypt. land. For the king of Babylon king had of taken Egypt from the river of Egypt unto the river land. Euphrates For the king all of that pertained taken to the from king of, the river Egypt. of Egypt. Unto the river Euphrates. Not long after the destruction of Nineveh and the Assyrian Empire, 
There was war between Not Media long and after Lydia, the destruction of Nineveh but during and the a great Assyrian battle, Empire, there occurred there an eclipse of the sun, and Lydia, which so awed both battle, armies there that they ceased an fighting. Of the sun, this lull so was seized upon by Nabopolassar to intervene and ask both kings to come to an agreement by out of respect to, to the gods that and had so manifestly shown their displeasure by darkening the sun. To the gods that had he was so successful. Shown their Peace was established, the and sun. the agreement was sealed by the he marriage of the daughter of the king Peace of Lydia to the son and of the, the king of Media. Was sealed by the marriage Thus the Babylon, both the by the prestige of, Lydia, of her ancient of and mighty name, and by the good Thus offices Babylon, of Nebuchadnezzar, strengthened of her herself and mighty name, and by the good in the position to hold a controlling influence over the two strong kingdoms in the of Media and Lydia. A controlling influence and when, over shortly the two after this, kingdoms, Nebuchadnezzar, the son of Nabopolassar, conquered and when, Necho of Egypt after at this, Carchemish by the Euphrates, the son of drove him back to Egypt Necho and took possession of, of all his territories, Euphrates, even drove up to the river to Egypt of Egypt itself. Possession Babylon of all secured his territories, the decidedly predominant the power of Egypt over all. Itself. Babylon Thus matters stood when, in 604, Nabopolassar died and was Thus succeeded immediately by Nebuchadnezzar, who had already been associated with him in the rulership of the kingdom. By Nebuchadnezzar, who Nebuchadnezzar had already having already so signally displayed his ability in war by the defeat of the king of Egypt and the so conquest of all Palestine and Syria, by the defeat of easily the king maintained the dignity and, the and of predominance of, of Babylon Syria, before all easily nations. The in addition to this, the Babylon family relationship of Babylon nations. with Media and Lydia in to this, was now closer than before. Relationship of For Babylon, Nebuchadnezzar, with king Media of Babylon, was, was son-in-law to the king of Media, for and brother-in-law to the of heir Babylon, of the throne of was Media, who was son-in-law to the king of Lydia. All these of Media, influences who was give Babylon, to the at the very beginning of, of the reign of Nebuchadnezzar, all these an easy predominance, give Babylon, which was only strengthened at every step throughout the long reign easy of the mighty Nebuchadnezzar. Which was only strengthened at every in 607, step the long when reign Nebuchadnezzar the first besieged Jerusalem, in the third in year of the reign of Jehoiakim, when Nebuchadnezzar he carried to Babylon some Jerusalem of the vessels of the, the temple of God of in Jerusalem, of and put them in the temple Babylon, of his own God of in Babylon. Of the temple of God in he selected certain of the children of Israel of his and of the king's seed, and of the princes he selected certain also of the to take with him to Babylon. And of the king's these seed, were carefully selected the by Ashpenaz, the master of his eunuchs. By a very These close examination, both Ashpenaz, physical and mental, of his eunuchs, for the king required that those who were chosen both should be children in mental. whom was no blemish, for the king but well-favored and skillful in all wisdom, be children and cunning in knowledge, no blemish, and understanding well science, and, and such in all as had ability and cunning in them. In knowledge, and understanding These were thus chosen and, and taken to Babylon in order in that, to them, in Babylon, These were thus they might teach and the learning to and the tongue in of the Chaldeans, to them and this in, Babylon, in order that they might, they might finally the be attendants the upon the, the king. Chaldeans. And this, Among these were Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and king. Azariah, whom the king Among named respectively Daniel, Belteshazzar, Mishael, Shadrach, and Azariah, Meshach, and Abednego. The king named respectively These boys spent three years Shadrach, under Meshach, Chaldean instruction. At the end of These which time, they were again examined personally by the king, and in all matters of wisdom and understanding they were again that the king inquired of them, the king. he found them and in all ten times of better and than all the magicians the and astrologers them, that were he found in them all his ten realm. Times better than all the magicians From this and time to the destruction of Jerusalem in, in 588, the principal events in the reign of Nebuchadnezzar the of were the successful sieges of that place the in the reign of Jehoiakim, or Jeconiah, and Zedekiah, in the reign as related of in Jeremiah, or Ezekiel chapters 1 to 24, and Zedekiah, 2 Kings as chapter 24, in Jeremiah, and 2 Chronicles chapters 1 chapter 36. 2 Kings chapter 24. During the reign of Zedekiah, 
Jeremiah the prophet, at the command of the Lord, during the had reign made of Zedekiah, bonds and yokes, Jeremiah and the put prophet, them upon his the own command neck, of the Lord, and then sent them to the king of Edom, and, and to the king of Moab, his own neck, and to the king and of the Ammonites, to the and to the king of, of Tyrus, and to the king of, and to the king of Zidon, and to the king by the of hand the of the messengers and to the which came to Jerusalem. Tyrus, unto and Zedekiah, king of, Zidon, king of Judah, by the hand of the and commanded them to say to unto their masters, unto Zedekiah, Thus king saith of Judah, the Lord of and hosts, commanded them the God to say of Israel, unto their masters, Thus shall thus ye say unto your masters, of hosts, I have the made the earth, Israel, the man thus and the beast that are upon the ground, masters, by my great power and by my outstretched the arm, and, the beast and have given the it ground, unto whom it seemed my great meat power to me. And, by my and now arm, have I given have all given these lands into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, have I my given servant, all these lands and the beasts the of the field have I given him Babylon, also to serve him. My servant, and all nations and shall serve him have and his son, also to and serve his him. son's son, and all until the very time him, of his land and come. His son, and then and his son's many nations son, and until great the kings time shall serve themselves come. to him. And then many nations and it shall come to pass kings that the nation and kingdom to him. which will not serve the same Nebuchadnezzar, come to the king of Babylon, that the nation and that will and not put their neck under the yoke the of the king of Babylon, the king of Babylon, and that nation and that will, will I punish, put their saith the Lord, the with the sword the Babylon, and with the famine and, that and with the pestilence will I punish, until I have the consumed Lord, them by his hand. the famine and with Therefore, the pestilence, hearken not I have ye to your prophets, by his nor hand. to your diviners, Therefore, nor to your dreamers, not ye nor to your, your enchanters, nor, nor to your, your sorcerers, nor which to your speak dreamers, unto you, saying, nor to your Ye shall not serve nor the king of Babylon, which speak for they you prophesy saying, a lie ye unto shall you, not serve the to remove you Babylon. far from your land. For they and that I should drive you out, unto you, and ye should perish. To you far from but the your nations land, that bring their neck under the yoke out, of the king of Babylon and, and serve him, but the those nations that will I let remain still the in their the own land, Babylon, saith the Lord. Serve him, and they shall till it will I let and dwell remain therein. Still in their own land, saith the Lord. This and was a perfectly fair proposition to all those nations. The same had been this made over and over again to the kingdom to of Judah. Nations. But Judah would not believe. Over she would over not recognize the, the sovereignty of, of Nebuchadnezzar. But Judah would not Accordingly, believe. her city she was destroyed, the, the nation was carried captive, and the land was left desolate. Her city was destroyed, and when the people the whom the Lord captive, specially called his and own, was left and who desolate. on their own part specially claimed to be the Lord's people above all people, would and not believe their own the word of the Lord. To be the it is not strange people, that the other nations who knew not God the word of the should Lord. also refuse it to believe, not strange and so the be obliged themselves God to go through the like experience to of Judah and, and Jerusalem. So be obliged themselves they would not, to go through in obedience the like to God, experience voluntarily put their necks under the yoke of the king of Babylon. Not, in and so to God, dwell in peace in their put own their land. Necks under the yoke Therefore, of the king of Babylon, by the sword, and so siege, dwell in and peace famine, in their own land. they were obliged to do Therefore, it because by the sword, for their good and the honor and of God, famine, both then and in the ages to come, for their it good must be and done. The honor of God, both then and God in the had brought Israel come, out of Egypt it must and had done. planted them in the land of Canaan, the God glory of had all lands, Israel out of Egypt, to be the light and of had the world. Planted them in the land of Canaan, at that time and for ages afterwards, lands, Palestine the was the, the pivot world. of the known world. At that time and for at ages pivot, afterward, he placed Palestine his people was the pivot to be a light to world. all the nations, at that those pivot, nations he might know of the true God. To be a light to all the by nations, by having God abiding with that them, those nations he intended that his people should influence all the nations by for having good. God abiding with them, but not only would they be his like all the nations, influence all the nations, they became for good. even worse than the but heathen. Not only would they be the like land could the no longer bear them; they became it even must worse spew them than out the heathen, as it had been the compelled to do no with the heathen before them. It must spew them out. As, as had Israel had frustrated God's purpose them, to enlighten all the nations by them as in the land where he had planted them, 
to he would fulfill his purpose and enlighten in all the nations by them in the lands where he, he had scattered them. And enlighten all As the Israel had lost the power the to arrest and command the attention them. of all the nations, that As the nations Israel might consider God and his and wonderful ways and works with the children of the nations men. Might consider God, God would now use them ways to enlighten those who had acquired men. The power God to arrest now and command the attention of all the nations, who had and thus cause all nations to, to consider the wonderful ways the and works of, all the of God with the children of men. All nations to consider the wonderful this ways is the whole philosophy of, of the captivity the of Judah, men. of the position of Daniel this in Babylon, the whole and of the place of, of the Nebuchadnezzar of Judah, and his successors the in the world's in empires and, and in the Bible. Of Nebuchadnezzar for the most high ruleth in the, in the kingdom of men, and, and giveth Bible, it to whomsoever he will. For the most high ruleth in the kingdom God of men. God had brought Nebuchadnezzar to the place of authority over all the nations. God but Nebuchadnezzar did not yet to the know the Lord. Of authority over he all must the be given the opportunity to but know him. Nebuchadnezzar did not and yet then, know the Lord. if he would acknowledge he must God, be given the opportunity he, to know being him. in the place of authority and over then, all the nations, if he would could call God, the attention he, of all the nations the to the Lord whom over all the he had come to know. Could call the attention and thus the of knowledge of God the by means the of his people in captivity in Babylon and thus would be the brought to the God attention by of all the nations, of his people in captivity in Babylon, by the excellency to the of the learning and ability of, of the youthful Daniel and his three companions, by the excellency they were brought the into immediate connection with Nebuchadnezzar Daniel and his three companions. They stood they were before the king. Into immediate connection Thus, with the captive people of God were the they means of divine enlightenment to those who who Thus, ruled the, the world, people of God that this were the divine, enlightenment divine enlightenment might be given to, to the, world. Who ruled the world. But Israel this might have done this themselves from the pivot of the world the in world. their own land, if Israel only they had always honored the Lord from the in their own the land, world, in as their own land. these young men if and others they had honored Him honored the Lord in their captivity. In their own land, as these young men in the second year of the reign of Nebuchadnezzar alone, B.C. 603, he in dreamed the dreams of the rain wherewith of his spirit alone, was troubled and his sleep break from he him, dreams, which very much impressed him, was troubled, in which he was exceedingly interested, from him, but which, which he could not possibly him, recall. In which he, was he therefore commanded to call the magicians he could and the astrologers and the sorcerers and the Chaldeans to call for to the show the king his and dreams. The and the sorcerers so they came and, the and stood before the king. For to show the king his he dreams. asked of them that so they, they came should tell him the thing the that king. he had dreamed, and he they answered them by asking him to tell them the tell dream, him the thing and they would tell the interpretation. And they answered but the king had not asked for any interpretation, and they would tell what the he interpretation. wanted was to know what he had but dreamed. The king had not asked for any if he had himself known the dream, what he wanted he could have made an interpretation for it as easily if as they had could. himself known the dream, but the dream itself an had gone from him as when he awoke. Easily as they yet. Could. The impression the of the fact that he had, had dreamed from of something remarkable awoke. so remained Yet, with him the impression that he the could not rest. He, had dreamed of he therefore said to so them again, him The thing is gone rest. from me. He then he demanded of them that again, they should make known to him both gone the dream me. and the interpretation. Then he demanded of them that they, they should in make turn, known to him both repeated their the request. Dream and the Let the king tell his servants the they, dream, in turn, and we will show the interpretation request. of it. Let the king tell his servants. By this the time, dream, the king had caught the true point the in the situation of it, and said to them, By "Tell this time, me the dream, the had caught and the I shall know that ye can show me the interpretation them, thereof." Tell me the dream. This and I was shall know their that test, ye can show me and it was the only a fair one. Thereof. For if they were really this able truly to interpret the dream, and it was had they only known it, a fair one. they were able For to discover the dream really when the king truly did to not interpret know the dream, it. Had they known it, and if they could they were not able discover, to discover the dream, the dream and tell it to the king in such a way that he would recognize it as the thing which he had dreamed, and tell it to the king, this was evidence enough he would recognize that any interpretation they might have dreamed. Even though they this knew was it would be mere guesswork, any interpretation they, they might therefore hear, surrendered, even so far they as it, they themselves were concerned, by declaring, 
They there is not a man upon so the earth they that can show the king's matter. Declaring, there is but not, not a content man upon with the thus clearing themselves, can show the king's they matter. cast reflection upon the king by but saying, not content with Therefore, thus there themselves. is no king, they cast lord, nor ruler king that asks such things at any magician no king, or astrologer lord, or Chaldean. That asked such things more than this, any magician, they proceeded to give away their Chaldean. case again by declaring not only more than that this, it was a rare thing that the king requires, but that by there is not none only other that, that can it show it before the king, that the king except requires, the gods, but that whose dwelling there is, is not none with flesh. Other that can show it before the king, except now the, gods, the very gist of the profession of these flesh. magicians, astrologers, and Chaldeans now, the very was that they held the such relationship to the gods that it was their Chaldeans. peculiar prerogative was that to discover the will of the gods, the gods and communicate it, it both their to king and to people. To discover the, will of the, gods the magicians pretended and to were supposed and to, to be the interpreters and expounders the of divine pretended. things. And were they pretended to be able, to be by their art and magic, of divine things. to control the actions of spiritual or superhuman beings. Magic. To control the astrologers the pretended and were supposed to be beings. able to declare the will of the gods the from the stars. Pretended and the word were astrologer to be able to is from the will aster, of the gods a from star, the stars. and the word logos, astrologer, word, is the from word aster, or instruction star, of the stars. And Logos, and as word, the stars were the gods, the word or and these astrologers the were the ones who pretended and as to declare the, the word the gods, of the stars, and these they simply were pretended the to declare the word and will of the gods. Word of the stars, they simply the sorcerers to declare were the of the same order as the magicians, the only that these had more the peculiarly to do the same with evil spirits. The magicians. Only the Chaldeans the were the priestly caste to do who had control of the books in which was the contained the instruction the in magic caste, and sorcery and all pertaining to the gods. Was the Thus they magic, were the instructors in, in all the wisdom and, and knowledge of the gods. The gods. They were Thus the chief were claimants the to divine in all the knowledge. Wisdom and knowledge. They were the, the very gods. chief guardians of they such were the knowledge. Chief claimants if any men could be supposed to be able to declare secrets and divine things, if it would have been these. Could be supposed to be able to declare when all these together declared that none but the gods could tell this thing that was wanted, when all these and that the gods were not near enough to men to allow this to be understood this from them. Wanted. And this was nothing less near than to, to confess to this that to their whole profession was a fraud. This was nothing and this less was further than to confess, confess that, that their all their conjurations, was a fraud. divinations, and magic, sorcery, and revelations that all in times past were simply a fraud magic, and an imposture upon the king in times and the people. Past were simply a fraud. When this truth and, flashed and upon the mind upon of Nebuchadnezzar, the and, the people, and he clearly saw that he and his people and their the fathers before them had been systematically that and continuously and duped by and these men, before them, he was so disgusted, humiliated, and, and outraged that he thought the men. only fair thing to he do was, so disgusted, was to wipe from the earth at once this whole combination the only of impostors. Was to wipe he therefore the earth instantly once, commanded this whole to destroy all the imposters. wise men of Babylon, he and the decree went forth that the wise men should be slain. All the wise men of Babylon. And Daniel and his brethren that the had been placed in the schools of these impostors, and Daniel were and indeed reckoned among them. Placed in the schools therefore the executioners imposters. sought and Daniel and his fellows to be slain. Therefore, when Arioch, the, the captain of the Daniel guard, and had found them and told them what was to be done, when Daniel Arioch, said to him, the captain Why the guard, is the decree so hasty them from the them king? Was to be done. Arioch Daniel told to him the him, whole story. Why is the decree then Daniel so hasty went in from the king and desired of the king Arioch told that he would give him story. time and that he would then show Daniel the king in the interpretation of both the king as to the dream and the meaning of it. This was granted. As to then the Daniel went to his house of it. and informed Hananiah, this Mishael, granted. and Azariah, then Daniel and suggested to his that they should desire mercies Hananiah, of the God of heaven Mishael, concerning and this Azariah. secret. And suggested then was the secret revealed unto Daniel in a night vision. 
Then After was giving the grateful thanks to God Daniel that he had made vision. known to them the king's matter, After Daniel went in unto Arioch, whom the king had to ordained the to destroy matter. the wise men of Daniel Babylon, went in and said to him, Arioch, whom Destroy the not the wise, to destroy the wise men of Babylon. Bring me in before the king, him, and I will show unto the, the king the interpretation. Bring me in before the Arioch, king. Hurried and away to the king and said to him, the I have found a man of the captives of Judah Arioch that will make known to unto the king the interpretation. I have found a man of the captives Daniel of Judah was called, that will make and the king known asked, unto the king the interpretation. Art thou able to make known Daniel unto me the called, dream which I have and seen asked, and the interpretation thereof? Thou able to make then Daniel known unto answered the in the presence of the king and, and said, the, interpretation thereof? the secret which the king hath then demanded Daniel answered in the presence of the, king the wise men. The astrologers, the, which the magicians, the, hath demanded, the soothsayers, show unto the, the king. Men, the astrologers, but there the is a God in heaven that revealeth secrets unto the and king. maketh known to the king Nebuchadnezzar is what shall be in, in the latter days. Secrets, and maketh known to the thy king dream and the visions of thy head upon thy bed are these. Thou, thy dream, O king, and the sawest of thy head and behold thy a great image. Are these. This great Thou, image, o king, whose brightness was excellent, and behold, stood before thee, image. and the form thereof this was image, terrible. Whose brightness was this excellent, image's head was of thee. fine gold, and the form his thereof was and terrible. And his arms of silver, this image's his belly and his thighs of, of brass, his, his legs of iron, and his, arms of silver, his feet part his of iron and, and part of, of clay. Brass. His legs Thou sawest till that his a stone was cut out without hands, part of clay. which smote the image upon Thou his feet till that, that were of iron and clay, without hands, and break them to which pieces. Smote the image upon his feet then that was the were iron, of iron, the clay, and clay, the brass, and break the silver, and the gold, broken then to pieces the together, iron, the clay, and became like the, brass, the chaff of the, the summer threshing the floors, gold, and the wind carried them together. away. That and no place like the was found for the summer them. Threshing floors. And the stone and that the smote the image became a great mountain no place and was filled found for the them. whole earth. And the stone that smote this the image is the dream, a great mountain, and we will tell the interpretation the thereof earth. before the king. This is Thou, the dream, O king, and we will art tell the king the interpretation of kings, thereof. For the God the of heaven hath given thee a kingdom, Thou, king, power, and strength, king of and kings. glory. For and wheresoever the children of men dwell, Power the beasts of the field and the fowls and of the heaven and hath he given into thine dwell, hand, the beasts and hath made the thee ruler the over them the heaven, all. Hath he given Thou into art thine this hand, head of gold, and, hath made thee ruler and after thee shall all. arise another kingdom Thou inferior to thee, head of gold. and another third kingdom and after of brass, thee shall arise which shall bear rule over all the earth to thee. And the fourth and kingdom, kingdom shall be strong brass, as iron, shall bear for as much as iron breaketh in pieces, and, the fourth and kingdom subdueth all shall things, be strong as iron, and as iron that as breaketh as all these, in pieces, shall it break and in pieces all and bruise. And, as iron and whereas thou sawest the feet and toes, shall it break part in of potter's clay and, and part of iron, and the kingdom shall be divided, the and toes, but there shall be in it clay of the strength of the iron, for as much as thou sawest the iron mixed with miry clay, of the strength and of as the, the iron, toes of the feet were part of iron and part of clay, mixed with miry so clay. the kingdom shall be and partly strong the of the and partly part broken. Of iron and part of clay. And whereas so thou sawest iron mixed with miry clay, and partly they shall mingle themselves with the and seed whereas of thou men, sawest iron but they shall with not clay, cleave one to they another, shall mingle themselves even with as the iron is not men, mixed with clay. They shall not cleave and in the days of another. these kings even shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom with clay, which shall never be destroyed. And, in the days of these and the kings, kingdom shall not shall be left the God of to other people, set up a kingdom, but it shall break shall in pieces and consume and the all these kingdoms, shall not be left and it to shall other stand people, forever. But it shall break in pieces For as much as thou sawest that the stone was cut out of the mountain without hands, and that it breaks in pieces the iron, the stone the brass, cut out of the, the clay, the silver, hands, and the gold. And that it the break great in God pieces, the hath iron, made known the brass, to the king the clay, what shall come to pass and hereafter. And the dream God is certain, hath made and the known interpretation to the king thereof shall come to pass sure. hereafter. And the dream the king is certain, answered unto and Daniel and said, Of a truth sure. it is that your God is a the God of gods, and Daniel a Lord said, of kings, of a and a revealer of secrets. Seeing thou couldst reveal this secret, and a Lord of kings, then the king made Daniel secrets, a great man, seeing thou and gave him many great secrets. gifts, 
and made then him the ruler king made over the Daniel whole province of Babylon and gave and him chief many of the governors gifts, over all the wise men ruler of Babylon. Over the whole province of Babylon. Then Daniel and requested of the, of the king, over all the and he set Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego over then the affairs Daniel of the province of the Babylon. King, and he but Daniel Shadrach, sat Meshach, in the gate and of the king. Over the, affairs of the, province of the first of the nations that after Daniel Judah to be brought to terms the king. and under the yoke of Nebuchadnezzar the first of was the, the mighty Tyre, Judah to be brought situate to terms at the entry of the, the yoke sea, of a merchant was of the, the people from Tyre, many isles, a mart at of the nations, entry of the sea, and which a had never of as yet submitted isles, to any foreign a mart empire. Of nations, and this was rather the irony of fate, too, to because when Jerusalem had been destroyed this by Nebuchadnezzar, irony Tyre had exalted in view of the immense traffic that would now be turned to her. Had exalted she exclaimed, of the immense Aha! That would she now is broken. Be turned to that her. was the gates of the she people. Exclaimed, she is turned Aha. unto me. She is broken. I shall be replenished. That was the gates now of the she people. is laid waste. She is turned unto me. I Therefore the Lord caused this message to be written is laid waste. For thus saith the Lord God Therefore the Lord caused this I will bring upon Tyrus Nebuchadnezzar King of Babylon Behold, a king of kings I will bring from the north Tyrus, with horses and with chariots king of and with Babylon, horsemen and companies and much from people the north, with horses he shall with slay with the sword with thy daughters in the field and companies and he shall and make people. a fort against thee he shall slay and cast with the a mount sword against thee in the field, and lift up the buckler and he shall make against, a thee. Fort against thee and he shall and set engines of war against thee, thy walls and lift up the buckler and with his axes he shall break and down shall thy towers. Engines of war against By thy reason walls, of the abundance of his, his horses, axes, their dust shall, break shall cover thy thee. Towers. Thy walls shall the shake at the noise horses, of the horsemen dust and of the wheels and of the chariots thy walls when he shall, shall enter the into thy gates of the as men of the enter into a city wherein is made a breach. Enter into thy gates With the hoofs of his horses shall he tread down all thy streets. He shall slay thy the people by the sword, horses, and thy strong garrisons all thy shall go down to the he ground. He shall slay thy people by the sword. Accordingly, and thy strong in the year 586, shall go down to Nebuchadnezzar the ground. overran Syria, Accordingly, invaded Phoenicia, in the year and laid siege to Nebuchadnezzar Tyre. Overran Syria, it cost him, however, a 13 years siege, siege to capture to the city. Yet the siege him, however, was carried forward so regularly, and the battering the rams were applied so Yet persistently was that every so head was made bald by the continuous the wearing of the helmet, so and every shoulder was peeled every head by the was persistent working the of the rams. Wearing of the helmets, At last, however, was the city was the taken. Persistent working but before it came to this extremity, At last, however, the inhabitants the had removed most of their effects but before into an island about half a mile distant from the, the shore. Inhabitants had removed and most when Nebuchadnezzar entered that which he he had so long besieged, from the shore. he found little there wherewith to reward his soldiers which in the spoil so of the place besieged. which they had so long he labored to take. There wherewith to reward and his therefore, soldiers in wreaking his anger the upon the buildings so and the few inhabitants take. who were left and in them, therefore, he raised the whole the city to the ground and, the few and slew all he found therein. He raised the whole the following city to contract the drawn up and, and dated at Tyre, July 7, 557 BC, the following contract is additional indisputable evidence Tyre, of the dominion 7, of King Nebuchadnezzar BC. over Tyre. Is additional indisputable On the 15th day of, of the month of Iyar, which is Tyre. April and May, on the Milkai Adirai, of the month governor Iyar, of Kittis, which is will get April three May. cows and their young, Adirai, and will give them to Alba, of son of Nadan Akai, three cows descendant young, of the priest and will of give the sun them god. To Alba, son of Nadan Akai, if he cannot get descendant them, Milkai Adairi will god. give to Alba, son of Nadan Akai, son them, of the priest of Milkai the sun god, will five give manna to Alba, of silver. Son of Nadin Akai, Witnessing Bunduri, son of, of Nabu Ukin, descendant Witnessing of Nabutu, Bunduri, Yuzib of Marduk, Nabu son Ukin, of Alba, descendant, descendant of the fisherman, of Nabutu, Marduk Sekin Sumi, Marduk, son of Marduk Edhir, descendant of Ed Heru, Sekin, Sumi, and the scribe son Piru, of Marduk, son Edhir, of Sula, descendant of Tyre, Heru, month Tammuz, that is Piru, between June and July, day 22nd, 
year 40, which was 557 BC, July, Nebuchadnezzar, king of year Babylon. 40, which was 557 Tyre, BC, once taken, Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar king before of returning Babylon. to Babylon, attacked the people Tyre, of Idumea taken, and Ammon, who had associated themselves Babylon, with the last the Jewish attempt at revolt. And, and compelled them to submit. Associated themselves he made the also a campaign Jewish in Arabia, revolt, passed and victoriously through Hejaz and Nejib, he made also and penetrated as in far Arabia, as the Sabian kingdom of Yemen. Through Hejaz and These Nejib, wars, and predicted by the prophets, as the terminated the series of, of Chaldean conquests These wars in Western predicted Asia. By the prophets, as we have seen, when Nebuchadnezzar, after so long Asia, a siege, had finally captured the city seen, of Tyre, when Nebuchadnezzar, he found himself after defrauded so long a siege, of the expected spoil by the fact the city of Tyre. that great numbers of the people had taken refuge of the in an island a short the distance from the city. Numbers of the, people the Lord had taken noticed this disappointment in an and said, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, caused his army to serve a great said, service against Tyre. Every head was made bald. To and every shoulder was peeled, against yet Tyrus. had he no wages, every head was nor his bald, army for Tyrus, was peeled, for the service that he had, had served he no wages, against it. Nor Therefore his thus saith Tyrus, the Lord God, for the service Behold, that he had served I will give the land it. of Egypt Therefore unto Nebuchadnezzar the Lord king God. of Babylon. Behold, and he shall take her multitude of Egypt and take her spoil and take of her prey. And, and he it shall, shall be the wages for his army. And take her spoil. I have given him the land of Egypt for his labor, wherewith he served against it, because they wrought for the me, Egypt saith for his the Lord labor, God. Wherewith he served against it at the capture they of Jerusalem me, by Nebuchadnezzar, the Lord 588 God. B.C. At he gave directions to Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, to let BC. Jeremiah go wheresoever he, he would. To Nebuzaradan, Jeremiah the of the went guard, unto Gedaliah, the son of Ahikam, he would. to Mizpah, Jeremiah and dwelt with him Gedaliah, among the people the that were left Ahikam, in the land. For Gedaliah was made governor of the land, him among the and Nebuzaradan, the captain the of the guard, for left Gedaliah certain was of the poor of the land, of the land. for vine dressers and, and for the husbandmen. Of the guard left certain and when of the all the Jews the that were in Moab and, and among the Ammonites and in Edom, and, when all the Jews and that, that were in Moab all the countries, and heard the that the king of Babylon had Edom, left a remnant of Judah, and that, were and that he had set over them Gedaliah, the king of Babylon even all the Jews returned of Judah, out of all places whither they were driven, Gedaliah, and came to the land of Judah, all the Jews to Gedaliah unto Mizpah, places and gathered they were wine driven, and summer and fruits came to the land very of much. Judah, to Gedaliah unto Mizpah. Shortly afterward, Gedaliah was murdered by much. a certain apostate Jew named Shortly Ishmael, afterward, who was the servant was of Baalus, by a certain king apostate of the Ammonites. Jew named Ishmael. Then all the people the who had been Baalus, left in the land king of the and who had returned from the surrounding countries to dwell in the land, been left in the fearing land, that they would be held responsible the for the murder of the governor, to dwell departed in the land, from the land fearing and that went they would into be Egypt. Held responsible for the murder of this the was done, however, against the, the earnest protest of the Lord Egypt. by the prophet Jeremiah. This was done, however, so they came the into the land of, of Egypt, the Lord for they the obeyed Jeremiah. not the voice of the Lord. So they came Thus into came the land they even of Egypt to tap for they obeyed not the voice of the Lord. Yet, when Thus against all protest, even all the tapinous. people of the land, every person Yet, determined to go to Egypt, protest, Jeremiah and Baruch land, went with them every rather than stay alone to go to in the desolate land. Jeremiah and Baruch went with then them came the word of the Lord unto Jeremiah in Tapanes, saying, Take then great stones in thine hand unto and hide them in, in the clay saying, in the brick kiln, take great which is at the entry hand, of Pharaoh's house in Tapanes, in, in, the, in the sight kiln, of the men of Judah, and say the unto them, of Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, of the men of Judah, and Behold, and say unto them, I will send thus and take the Nebuchadnezzar, hosts, the king the of Babylon, of my servant, 
and will set his throne upon these stones that I have hid, Babylon, and he shall spread his royal pavilion over them. Upon these stones and when he cometh, hid, he shall smite he the shall land of Egypt royal and deliver such them. as are for and death he cometh, to death, he shall smite and such the land as of Egypt are for captivity and to captivity, such as are for and such to as death. are for the sword and such to the sword. Are for captivity and I will captivity. kindle a fire in the houses of the gods of Egypt, the sword and he shall burn them. And carry and them away captives, in the and he shall the array Egypt, himself with the land of Egypt, them, as a shepherd them away putteth captives, on his garment. And he shall, and he shall go forth the from thence Egypt, in peace. As a shepherd, he shall break on also his garment, the images and he of Beth Shemesh from thence that in is peace. in the land of Egypt. He shall break and the houses of the, the gods of the Egyptians Shemesh, shall he burn that is with in fire. The land of Egypt. And the houses Accordingly, about the year 572, Nebuchadnezzar taking the advantage of the intestine divisions the which were then in that country by reason of the revolt the of Amasis, of marched which were with his army thither and by overrunning the, the whole land from Migdal or Magdalam, which army is at the first entering the into Egypt, land from even to Syene, Magdalam, which, which is at the farthest at the end entering of it toward Egypt, the borders of Ethiopia. To Syene, he made a miserable ravage and devastation therein, toward the borders slaying of multitudes of the inhabitants he made a and reducing a great part of the country therein, to such a desolation multitudes of the as it did not recover from in 40 years after. To such a desolation after this, as it Nebuchadnezzar, did not having loading himself and his army after. with the rich spoils of this after country, this, and brought it all in subjection to him. Army with he came to terms with Amasis, and, brought it and having confirmed in him in the kingdom him, as his deputy, he came to terms returned with to Babylon. Amasis. And having confirmed him in the kingdom with as With the conquest deputy, of Egypt, the wars of Nebuchadnezzar Babylon. ended. For his power was now firmly with established of Egypt, and was recognized over all the nations. Ended between Central Asia now and the Aegean Sea and was recognized and Ethiopia, over all the nations, Persia, between Susiana, Asia and the Elam, Aegean Sea, Media, and Ethiopia, Lydia, Syria Persia, of Damascus, Susiana, Phoenicia, Elam, Palestine, Media, Moab, Lydia, Ammon, Syria of Damascus, Edom, Arabia, Phoenicia, and Egypt, Palestine, and even Moab, beyond this, Ammon, because when Edom, Tyre was captured Arabia, and made and tributary, Egypt. The colonies which Tyre this, then possessed on the northern coast of Africa and, and in Spain, such as Carthage, Tyre then not yet independent, on the coast of and Gades, now Cadiz, recognized the suzerainty of the conqueror of the mother country. At a period of his reign not clearly defined, King Nebuchadnezzar began again to think upon the problem of the kingdoms of the world. King Nebuchadnezzar in the interpretation began again of the remarkable the dream that was given to King the Nebuchadnezzar, the Lord had the said to him that of the, the head of gold of the great image King represented the kingdom the of Nebuchadnezzar him himself, the head of and that gold after of the great him image should arise another kingdom, kingdom of inferior to his, and a third and kingdom inferior to this, arise another and yet another, inferior a fourth to kingdom, his, inferior even to this. And after that, a, a condition of things yet further inferior, inferior to this. First, and after there was that, gold, a then silver, of things yet next, in brass. After that, iron, First, there and was last gold, of all, then iron silver, mixed with next, miry clay. Brass. After that, this iron, dream was given to the king all, because iron that while upon his bed, clay. thoughts had come into his this mind as to, to the what should come to pass hereafter. Upon his bed, Thoughts From what came to pass afterward to with him, should come it is evident hereafter. that his thoughts as to From what should come to pass hereafter with him were to the effect that, that the mighty kingdom which he ruled, should come this lady of kingdoms, were to the effect Babylon, that the, the glory of kingdoms, kingdom which he ruled, the beauty of the Chaldees' excellency, of kingdoms, would Babylon, in its greatness glory and glory continue on and on indefinitely. Would in its greatness to correct and glory this view and show him the truth of the matter, the dream of the great image was shown to, to him. This, view and show him this told him that the, the golden matter, glory of his the kingdom would continue but a little while, and then told him another the would arise, of his and another and another. A little while. And then there would and be a division another with would all arise. these descending in a regular scale another. of inferiority. And then there would and be then a division. And then at last, 
with the all God of heaven would set up a kingdom, scale of and this origin. alone would be the and kingdom at last, that should stand the God forever, of heaven would set up and a not kingdom, be given to other this people. Alone would be the kingdom but the king could not accept this view of the subject, be given to other people. and after thinking upon it but for a long time, accept this he formulated his subject. own idea in and a great image about a hundred feet time, tall and ten feet broad, formulated his own all idea of gold in a great from head to feet. A hundred and feet set it up in the plain of broad, Dura in the province of, of Babylon to be worshipped. To feet, and this was a positive Dura, setting up in the of his of own Babylon idea against that of God. This was, a positive this was to declare to all people that his golden that kingdom was to endure forever, this was to declare that to there was to be no such thing as another kingdom, kingdom arising to separate forever, from his that and there was inferior to his, a kingdom, kingdom of silver and another of brass, his, and, and then one of iron, his, and after that of even descend so low brass, as iron mixed with one miry one clay. Iron, and after no, that, even there should be only so low his golden kingdom of Babylon. Clay. And that should no, never be broken there should nor be only interrupted. His golden kingdom of Babylon. He therefore set up and that to be worshipped be by all nor his great golden image as the just representation to of what his great kingdom should continue to be. Image as the just a great day was appointed for the dedication of the image, should continue and the princes, the governors, and the captains, the, the judges, of the, the treasurers, the counselors, the, the sheriffs, and all and the, the rulers of the provinces the judges, the were gathered to do the honor to the occasion the and, and the, the image. Of the provinces then the royal herald proclaimed, to, honor to, the to you it is commanded, O people, nations, then and languages, that at what time ye hear the sound of the cornet, people, nations, flute, and languages, harp, sackbut, at what psaltery, time ye dulcimer, hear the sound and all of the kinds cornet, of music, flute, he fall down Sackbut, and worship the golden sultry, image that Nebuchadnezzar the king has set up. And whoso fall falleth not down and worshipeth shall the same the hour hath be cast into the midst whoso of a burning, down fiery and furnace. Shall the same hour be cast In a number of points, of all this was furnace. an open challenge to the Lord. It was In the assertion points, that Nebuchadnezzar's idea of the kingdoms of the men Lord should be accepted the as the true and divine idea, idea of instead of, of that of God. Should be accepted as it the was the assertion that the embodiment of this of idea of should be worshipped as it God. Was the assertion and all this the was indeed this the putting of Nebuchadnezzar himself as God. in the place of God and all as the ruler in the kingdom of the men, of the head of all religion in the place and the director of, God, of all worship. The ruler in the kingdom of men, Yet the, the Lord employed all it all, and the not only to instruct worship. the king, but to instruct Yet all nations at that time all, and forever not after. Not only to instruct the king, the situation but created to by Nebuchadnezzar at for that his time own glory, and forever after. the Lord would use the in accomplishing his great purpose for his of giving glory, to all nations the, Lord the knowledge of the glory of God. His great purpose of giving to in all the great nations crowd that was assembled, the the there were the three faithful servants of God. Shadrach, great Meshach, and Abednego. Assembled, there and when, the three at the voice of the royal of God, herald, Shadrach, and the sound Meshach, of harp, Abednego, flute, sackbut, and when, psaltery, at the voice dulcimer, of the and all herald, kinds of music, the, sound of harp, the great flute, crowd of sackbut, princes, sultry, governors, counselors, sheriffs, and all the people music. fell down and worshipped the worship golden princes, image. Governors, These three young men the stood bolt fell upright down and, and gave the no notice image. whatever to These the image. Three young men stood then bolt certain Chaldeans and came no near and accused the, the Jews. They then said to the king, certain Chaldeans There are certain Jews whom thou hast the set over the affairs they said of the, the king, province of Babylon. There are certain Shadrach, Jews whom Meshach, thou and Abednego. Set over the affairs These men, the O king, have not regarded thee. Shadrach, Meshach, they serve and not thy gods, These nor worship men, the golden king, image which thou hast thee. set up. They serve not thy gods. Then Nebuchadnezzar, nor in his rage and fury, thou hast commanded that the three men should be brought before him. Then Nebuchadnezzar, he in said his to them, rage and fury, Is it of purpose, O Shadrach, Meshach, him. and Abednego? He said to them, Do not ye serve Is my gods, of purpose, nor o worship Shadrach, the golden image Meshach, and which I have set up? Do not ye serve my he gods? He then, in person, repeated the his command image, which that I they should worship the image. 
and the penalty he upon disobedience, repeated his that command, if ye that worship not, worship ye image, shall be cast the same the hour into the midst of a burning fiery furnace. If ye worship and who not, is that God that shall deliver you out of my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O oh, Nebuchadnezzar, Shadrach, we are not Meshach, careful to Abednego answer thee answered in this matter. The king. If it oh, be so, we Our God, whom we serve, in this is able to deliver us from the burning so, fiery furnace, our God, and He will deliver us out of thine hand, O King. To deliver us from the burning but fiery if furnace, not, and be it known unto thee, O King, hand, o that King. we will not serve thy but gods, not, nor worship the golden image thee, o which King, thou hast set up. We will not serve thy gods, the nor furnace the was heated image to sevenfold its usual up. strength. And the men were cast the into it, was and fell down, bound usual into the strength. midst of the burning and fiery the men furnace. Were cast into it, but and suddenly fell down, the king, into the fairly midst petrified of the with furnace. astonishment, rose up in haste from his king, throne and cried to his counselors, "Did not we cast in haste three from his men bound and cried to into his the midst of the fire? Did not we?" Cast they answered and said unto the king. Men Bound, True, O king, into the midst of the fire. He answered and said, "They answered Lo, and said unto the king, I see four True, men king, loose, walking in the said, midst of the fire, Lo, and they I have see no hurt. Four men, and the form loose, of the fourth walking is like in the midst of the, the son of God, and they have no hurt. The king and the called them the forth and said, Is like blessed the be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, them forth who and hath said, sent his angel blessed and delivered his servants Shadrach, that trusted Meshach, in and him, Abednego, and have who hath changed sent his the king's word and, delivered and his yielded their bodies that, trusted that they might him, not serve nor worship any god except word their own god. And yielded their bodies that they might not serve god nor had commanded all god nations to serve their king god. Nebuchadnezzar. And had said that whatsoever God nation would not serve that serve same king, king the Lord would punish. And had said that Yet whatsoever here nation he wrought would a wonderful miracle to deliver king, these men the Lord who had punish. openly and directly here, refused he to obey a, a positive command of the king. Who had openly and Why was this? Refused to Did obey God a contradict himself? Of the king. Not at all. Why was this, this command of Did the God king was wrong? Himself? He was Not requiring a service this which he had no right to require. Was wrong. He had given a he command which he had no right to give. Which he had no right to In require. making him king of the nations, command, which the Lord had, had no not right made give. him king in, in the religion him king of, the of the nations. The Lord in making not made him the head of all the nations, the religion God the had nations. not made him. The head in of religion, him the head of all the but nations. being an idolater God had not and having grown up amid idolatrous systems, Nebuchadnezzar did not know this. And having grown with up idolaters, amid idolatrous religion systems, always has been and still is a part of the government. With idolaters in heathen religion systems, always religion has been and the government and are always a part united. Of the government. While in, in the true systems. systems the divine and the government the Christian are system, united. they are always separate. While in the true system, and this the was the instruction the which Christian the Lord system, gave to King Nebuchadnezzar in this great transaction. And this was the instruction which, in the a Lord way in which it was King impossible not to understand, this great the Lord showed him that he had nothing in whatever in it was to do with the religion, nor in directing the, the worship he of the people. Whatever to do the with Lord the had religion, brought all nations under this king's yoke. As the to their bodily service, the Lord had brought all nations but now, under this by king's an unmistakable yoke, evidence, to their bodily this service, same Lord but showed now, to King Nebuchadnezzar by that he evidence, had given him no power nor jurisdiction Lord whatever to king in their souls' service. That he had given him no power the Lord nor thus showed the whatever. king. In their that while in all service. things between nation and nation, the Lord thus or man the and man, that while all people, all things nations nation and languages, and nation, had been given to him man, to serve him, all people, and he had been made ruler over them all. Had been given to yet in him things between men him. and God, and he had been he was given plainly and forcibly to understand that he had, he had nothing whatever to do. The God of heaven there taught to the king and to all nations forever 
that in the presence the of, of the rights of conscience of the, the individual, all nations the forever, word of the king the must change. Of the, rights the of decree of the of king the is not. The word of the king and this was all change. written for our the admonition the upon whom the ends of the world are come. And this was all written. And there for being our present and beholding it all, the, of the, world the princes, the governors, and captains, and there the judges, the treasurers, and it all, the counselors, the, princes, the sheriffs, the and all the rulers and captains, of the provinces the judges, of all the his realms, the this great truth, the sheriffs, and all with the, the knowledge of the, of the power and glory of, of the true God. Realm, was this by this one truth, mighty impulse the knowledge spread the power among all the peoples, the God, nations, and languages by this throughout the whole mighty and widespread empire. All the peoples, nations, and languages Nor did this great thought end here. A few empire. years afterward, when Nebuchadnezzar's Nor conquests great were accomplished, and his a great city of Babylon had been finished and decorated with the wonderful buildings, gardens, etc., and he was proudly exulting in it all, the wonderful as that which gardens, he had built and he was by the might of his power in it all, and for the honor of his majesty, he had, he had another remarkable dream. His power, in his dream he saw a great tree standing alone in the earth, dream. so high that it in reached dream, unto heaven, a great tree and the sight thereof alone to the end the of all the earth. So high that the beasts of the heaven, field had shadow and under it, thereof, and the fowls the of the of heaven the dwelt in the boughs the beasts thereof, of the field and all flesh under was it, fed of it. And the fowls of the heaven dwelt then he saw in his dream, and behold, a watcher and an holy one came down from heaven. He cried and aloud behold, and said thus, a watcher, and hew down the tree, came and down cut off heaven. his branches. He cried Nevertheless, aloud and said thus, leave the stump hew of his down roots the tree in the earth, and cut off his even branches. with a band of iron and brass, leave the stump in the tender of grass of the field, the earth, and let it be wet with, with the dew of, of heaven, iron and, brass, and let his portion be with the beasts of the field, in the grass let of the earth. With the dew of let his heart be changed from man's, and let a beast's heart be given unto him. Let his and heart let be seven times man, pass over him. And let a beast's heart this be given unto him. This matter is by the decree of the watchers times and the demand him. by the word of the this holy ones is by to the, the intent of the watchers that the living may the know by that the, the most of the high holy ones ruleth in the kingdom the of intent, men and giveth it to whomsoever he will the most and setteth up over it the, the basest of men and giveth it to whomsoever he will. Daniel was called over it and the interpreted for men. the king his dream thus. Daniel this is the interpretation, O king, for and the this king, is the decree of the Most High, this which is, is come upon my lord the king, and this is that the they shall drive thee the from men, high, and thy dwelling shall be with the beasts the of the field, that and they, they shall make thee to eat men, grass as oxen, and beasts they shall wet thee with the dew of heaven, and seven times shall pass over thee, till thou know the that the Most heaven. High ruleth and in the kingdom of men, shall pass over and giveth it to whomsoever he will. That the most high ruleth and whereas the they commanded men, to leave the stump of the tree roots, he will. thy kingdom Shall be sure unto thee. To leave the stump After that, of the tree thou shalt have known thy that the heavens shall do be rule. Sure unto thee. Wherefore, After O that, King, thou shalt let my counsel be acceptable unto thee, rule. and break off thy sins Wherefore, by righteousness, King, and thine iniquities by showing thee, mercy to the and poor. Break off thy sins by if righteousness, it may be and a lengthening of thy tranquility. By mercy to the poor. If a year afterward, a as he was walking in his beautiful palace and grounds, exulting in the glory of great Babylon, which he had built his beautiful by the might of his grounds, power and for the honor the of his majesty, Babylon, which he had built even by while the, the word was in the king's mouth, and for the honor there fell of his a majesty, voice from heaven saying, even while the O word King was in the Nebuchadnezzar, king's mouth, to thee fell it is spoken, from heaven saying, the kingdom is departed o from king thee. Nebuchadnezzar, to thee then it is there spoken. came upon him that the which he had is seen foreshadowed in his dream, and which had been told him, him in the interpretation he had seen of it. In and his at dream, the end of the time, had been he was restored in the to his kingdom. Of it. Then he and issued the, the following the decree: time, He was restored Nebuchadnezzar is a king unto all then people, nations, and languages decree. that dwell in all the earth. The king Peace all be multiplied people, unto you. And languages I thought it good to show the signs and wonders that the high God had wrought 
toward me. I thought it good how to show great the signs are his and signs that the and how high mighty God are his wonders toward me. His kingdom is how an everlasting kingdom signs and his dominion and is from generation wonders. to generation. His kingdom is an everlasting Here kingdom. Here follows in the decree the full account of the dream, generation. the interpretation and the follows in the decree, and it closes the thus. Account of the dream, now the I, Nebuchadnezzar, and praise fact, and extol and, and honor thus. the King of Heaven, now I, all whose works are truth and, and his ways and judgment, the King and those of heaven, that walk in pride whose works he is are able to abase, and his ways judgment. And thus and was again made pride, known to all people, to nations, abase. and languages of all the earth and thus the was honor again and glory of the Most High God, people, with and the great truth of all the earth, that He rules the in the kingdom of men, of Most High God, and giveth it to with whomsoever the great truth He will. That He rules in the kingdom of Nebuchadnezzar was not only a wise ruler and a mighty conqueror. But was one of the greatest builders of any age. A wise ruler and to him a alone, conqueror. more than all others put together, of any Babylon age. owed her greatness of every alone, kind and still owes her fame. Together. Babylon Even owed in holy writ, of every Babylon is described as the fame. glory of kingdoms, the Even beauty of the Chaldees' writ, excellency, the golden city, the glory of kingdoms, and the lady of the kingdoms. Beauty of the Chaldees her great buildings. The her wonderful city, hanging gardens and, the lady and her of artificial kingdoms. mountains of walls her great buildings, made her, her the wonder of the world, gardens, even to this day. Artificial mountains of this walls great city was enriched the with the spoils of, the of foreign conquest. To this day. It owed as much this to Nebuchadnezzar was as Rome with the owed of to Augustus. Conquest. The it buildings and walls with which it was adorned Rome were worthy to of the metropolis of the world. The buildings and walls with which it of the was building adorned of the walls were and fortresses of the, of the city of the world and the length of the wall. Of the building, Nebuchadnezzar himself of the wrote, and fortresses of the city, Imgur Bel and, and Nivet Bel, the, the great walls of Babylon, wrote, I built them square, Imgur Bel I repaired with Bel, bitumen and bricks of Babylon, the sides of the ditches that had square. been dug. I, I caused by to be put and in bricks, order the double the doors of, of the bronze that had and the railings dug. and the gratings in the great to gateways. In order the double I enlarged the streets of Babylon so as to make the them wonderful. In the great I applied myself to I the protection the of, Babylon of Babylon and so Baal Sagatu, the pyramid, I applied and myself on the to most the elevated lands close to the great Sagatu, gate of Ishtar, the pyramid. I constructed and on the strong most fortresses of bitumen and to bricks the great gate of from Ishtar, the banks of the Euphrates down to the great gate, of bitumen the whole bricks, extent of the streets of the Euphrates. I established down there the great foundations gate, below the, the level of the waters of the streets. I fortified these walls I with art. There foundations I caused below the level of the waters. The great I wall of Babylon, walls the impregnable, art. such I as no king Imgur before Bell, me had made, wall to be Babylon, measured four thousand margagar. Such as no king this measurement me corresponds exactly with the four hundred and eighty stades, or sixty this miles, given by exactly Herodotus the 480 as the circuit. Stades, or 60 miles, the city stands on a broad Herodotus plain as and is circuit. an exact square. 120 furlongs in length plane, each way, and is so that the entire square, circuit is 480 furlongs. furlongs in length each While way, such is its size, so the in magnificence, there is furlongs. no other city that approaches such to it. Is its size, it is surrounded in, in the first place there is no by a broad and deep moat, full of water, behind which rises a wall place, 50 by a royal cubits in moat, width, Full of and water, 200 in height. Which rises a wall, the royal cubit is royal longer by three width, fingers breadth than the common height. cubit. The royal cubit it is was surrounded by, by a wall 350 feet high cubit. and about 85 feet thick at the top. It was surrounded by a wall 350 feet high. On the top of the wall, and about at irregular feet intervals, thick were at built the top. towers to guard the most on accessible the parts. Of the wall, at of these towers, there were, were 250. To guard the most the open parts. space on the wall of these within towers, the line of these towers was of sufficient breadth the open to allow on the a four-horse chariot the of these to turn with safety. Of sufficient breadth, 25 gates pierced the wall on each side. 
making 100 gates in all gates in the outer the wall, wall on each side. These were double gates of solid brass gates with brazen in lentils and in posts wall. and fastened with bars These of were iron. Gates of solid brass Around the wall on the outside ran a moat and fastened corresponding with bars in of width iron. and depth to the Around greatness the of the wall. The outside ran a moat under the wall in width and diagonally and through the, the city of from the corner to corner so as to Under obtain the, the greatest length of water, the ran the river Euphrates. From corner to corner, on so each side of the river, inside of the city, of was built a strong Euphrates. wall, each wall being each pierced with the river, 25 gates city, opening was into the streets wall, that ran from the outer wall gates. Being pierced with These were also gates, brazen gates like the those that in the outer wall. The outer gates. The banks of the river were, were lined throughout with brick laid in the bitumen with the sloping of the landing places at the gates. With brick laid Boats were bitumen. always ready at these with landing places landing by which to pass from side to side of the river. Boats were always ready at these Over the river, about the middle of the city, was a drawbridge 30 river. feet wide, supported the river, on stone the piers. Of the city was a drawbridge at the two ends of the bridge were the two grand palaces piers. of the city. Of course, the vast the bridge, area within the city the was not built up solidly with city. houses, as of is course, a modern the city. Area within the city. There were gardens, up orchards, with houses, and fields interspersed among the houses city. and there about gardens, the palaces and temples. And fields it was expected that the if ever the city should be besieged, the they could grow sufficient provisions within the walls ever to the support the population so that they, they might shut their gates, man the, the towers, to and dwell the securely, with no so fears of ever being overcome by any besieging force. And dwell securely, with Such, no fears briefly of ever outlined, being overcome was the Babylon of the days of Nebuchadnezzar force. and Daniel, Such and largely as it was, was when the Herodotus of the visited of it about a hundred years Daniel. later. And it is safe to say when that no city on earth about has ever equaled later. it in greatness it and grandeur. It is safe to say that no city on earth throughout the has empire ever at Borsippa, Sippara, Kutha, Chilmad, throughout Duraba, Teradon, and a multitude Sipara, of other places, Kutha, he built Chilmad, or rebuilt cities. Duraba, repaired Teradon, temples, a constructed places, quays, reservoirs, built, canals, and aqueducts cities, on a scale temples, of grandeur and magnificence, quays, surpassing and everything of the kind recorded in history unless it be the construction of one or of two of the greatest history, Egyptian monarchs. Unless it, be the construction it is enough to note in this place the that Egyptian he was great monarchs. both in peace and in war, it is enough but greater to note in the former. Place it was, was as the adorner and beautifier and war, of his native land, greater in the former, as the builder and restorer as of almost all her cities and temples, of land, that this monarch obtained that great reputation almost which has her handed and down temples, his name traditionally in the East that great on a par with those of Nimrod, Solomon, and Alexander, in the East, and made it still a, a familiar term Nimrod, in the mouths Solomon, of the people. And Alexander. Probably no single man ever left behind him the as the his people. memorial upon the earth Probably one no half single man the amount ever of left building behind that was erected his by this king. Upon the earth. One half Nebuchadnezzar the of is the great monarch of the Babylonian Empire, which, lasting only 88 the years from B.C. 625 Empire, to B.C. 538, only 88 was for nearly half the time under his sway. To BC its military glory is due chiefly to him, half the time while the constructive energy, which its constitutes glory its especial characteristic, him, belongs to it still energy, more markedly through his character and genius. It is scarcely to too much to say through that but for Nebuchadnezzar, the Babylonians it would have had no place in history. That but for Nebuchadnezzar, At any rate, the their Babylonians actual place is owing almost no entirely in to this prince, At who, rate, to the military talents of an able general, added a grandeur of prince, artistic conception and skill and construction, of an able which place him on a par with the greatest builders of antiquity. Which his last days were as brilliant as his first. Of his sun set, 
in an his unclouded last days sky, were as brilliant shorn as of his none first. of the rays that had his given splendor to its in noonday. An unclouded sky, Nebuchadnezzar expired of at of Babylon the had given in the 44th year of his reign, B.C. 561, Babylon after an illness of no longer duration. Reign, BC he was probably a little short of 80 years after old an illness at his of death. No longer duration. He was probably little short of 80 years old at his 